Hello YouTube. Um, I have a number of these old NICAD chargers and I want to make them into something useful because uh, I've seen uh, recently that um, the DeWalt uh, range, or I think it's the XR range, has a USB charger. Uh, so you plug your battery in and uh, you have USB ports on the back. Well, uh, I will be getting round to that sooner or later when the components decide they want to turn up. But for now, what I want to do is put a uh, 40 volt to oh, it says 40 volt 40 volt to 12 volt solid uh, state um, buck converter in and two little banana plug adapters so that I can use my soldering iron my 12 volt one whilst I'm on the move I can't pull the leads any closer so two banana plugs uh, there is one problem we have to overcome uh, in the process and obviously I've already gutted this one this one got gutted quite a while back is actually how do we get the battery in? Because this does not accept lithium ion batteries. So you don't actually fit. So I just need to overcome that first and then we can move on. Well, all I did was put a couple of slots in. I was going to completely remove one corner just to get rid of this horrible plastic moulding in here. But it turns out I didn't have to do that. I just put a, a couple of slots in there and now the battery goes all the way in. Now the true test of this is actually to see if the power contacts which uh, come with the battery actually pick it up. So I'm just going to drop them in now and I know negative goes <coughs> where does negative go? On that one there and positive goes on this one here. Yeah I've bent the contacts trying to force it in uh, but the little blue LED did light up there uh, what I'm going to do is push that back. Blue LED lights up, which is what we want. Um, the reason why it keeps popping out is because this little moulding here has uh, the three points where the, the old connections actually were held in place. So I'm going to... Uh, hoping this is going to work as I want it to. Um, I guess I'm just going to pop that back on for the minute and test this to make sure it does work because I should be able to see the blue LED through the air holes so give me a minute right so yeah with that in place it does light up it's a bit it is nice and stiff it's not going to fall out now not like it would have done if I put a NICAD in there I can hold that upside down quite happily let's just do one more time for luck um, let the LED fade and the Capacitor discharge. Smashing. That's brilliant. Okay, right, let's put that to one side. Let me dismantle it again. It's going to take me a little while because uh, it's got fiddly little screws in there. Stupidly long. See what I mean? At least these ones aren't security protected. Okay, so now I can just drill a few holes. Where do I want to put the holes? I'm probably going to put them in here somewhere. So I'm just going to mark that out with a pencil when I come back when I've got the bits in place. So that is basically it for the minute. I mean, two banana plugs, not even going to fuse it. Um, when I get the other parts, I will do a more comprehensive video on this. Just, this is just to get it going so I can use it for my soldering iron. Um, I'm not even going to glue that down, I don't think. Nah, not going to glue it down. So that's going to go down there. And that goes on top. Might be obstructed by the first banana plug. So there we have it all done and dusted. It's got the output there, blue light shows it's on. This is just an old battery showing green. Um, yeah, I don't think it's too bad to be honest. Uh, I'm just going to use it to run my soldering iron for now. I'm using the two banana plugs, so I'm just going to stick that in there. One, two, give you a little close up of that. Yeah, it's not too bad, they're only a little cheap um, banana plug, so I wouldn't really put the 16 amp through like I would with a better quality one. Um, certainly warming up slowly, and it's gone to orange. Uh, I thought I'd put it on this one because it better shows the the draw, as in 
as soon as you put anything on it, just run the drill for 10 seconds, then it goes down in, in colour. So, uh, there we go. No, my finger's in the way. There we go. Um, so yeah, I'm going to use this for my soldering off for now. I do have plans uh, to add other things on it, i.e. Um, the USB ports. Uh, I'm going to put a 12 volt socket on it as well, um, because I have certain low low amperage things, low wattage things that I can utilise on it. Um, but obviously uh, the, the buck converter in there is only 3 amp, so you can't really put too much on it. So uh, that'll do for now, I think. Yeah, thank you very much for watching. Uh, please subscribe, comment, and rate. Um, over Christmas, I will be hopefully, if the parts turn up, <coughs> uh, adapting this. And uh, I have two other uh, different chargers that I could I could uh, do the same with, uh, and uh, sort of cannibalise for projects. And of course, where everything of mine is is Roby One Plus, it's going to be handy. Yeah, so I'll come up with some ideas. Um, if you've got any ideas in the meantime, what I could uh, run off my 18 volt power tools, uh, let us know. Because what I was, oh, one other thing I was thinking of doing was actually running um, um, my internet router off of this. If um, there was a power cut, obviously I no guarantee that it would work. If, uh, for example, there's no power at the, uh, the internet hub box down the bottom of the road. Sorry, I'm just spinning out these pens a bit more make it a bit, a bit easier yeah and um i'll see you in my next video thanks for watching